Hello grade 9 math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have today adding and subtracting polynomials. Uh, we are going to start with binomials and move into trinomials. Uh, once we get the process down, I think it's fairly straightforward, but it is uh, definitely new. So let's get into it. We have our first problem. Minus 4 plus 3x in brackets, minus 6x plus 14. And these brackets are here to represent that we have a binomial subtracting a binomial. Um, the order of the binomial and the terms doesn't really matter, but we are subtracting the whole thing on the right from the left. When we do that, we, when we're subtracting, Subtracting means that we flip the sign over of all of these. So subtracting, we flip the sign of the second term, of the second polynomial, I'll say. We want to turn everything here into the opposite sign, and that's going to be subtracting it. So. We have minus 4 plus 3x. I can get rid of the brackets. We flip plus 6x to minus 6x. We flip plus 14 to minus 14. And then we can complete our problem. 3x minus 6x is minus 3x. And then minus 4 minus 14 is minus 18. We have that as our answer. Or we can, if we so wish, 3x plus 18. In the future, you may be asked to do that step. For now, either is acceptable. Let's go to the next problem. Let me shift this up. We have 14x to the power of 4 minus 11x squared, that's in brackets, plus minus 2x to the power of 4 minus 7x squared. Okay. Since we have an addition sign, that means that we just leave the signs that are inside this bracket the same when we rewrite it, so we can just add normally. So we're going to rewrite this with these as the same sign. That's 14x to the 4 minus 11x squared minus 2x to the power of 4. I just keep the same sign. Minus 7x to the power of 2. I'm going to combine these terms. So 14x to the power of 4 minus 2x to the power of 4. If I had, they're both x to the power of 4, they have the same degree. So 14 minus 2 is 12. That's 12x to the power of 4. Minus 11x squared minus 17, or sorry, minus 7x squared gets us minus 18x squared. And that is our final answer. If we are adding, we leave the signs the same in the second part. And if we are subtracting, we flip all the signs and then we proceed. Let's do number seven. Minus 13 plus b, so be plus four plus three b. This is also in brackets. We have a plus sign, so we leave the second part the same. So 13, I'm sorry, this should be negative 13. I'm having a hard time seeing that question in that corner all the time. Minus 13 plus b plus 4, plus 3v. Our v's are going to add together. That's 4v. And then our other numbers add together with the 0 degree. That's minus 13 plus 4 equals minus 9. Let's do one more here before we let you loose and to try it on your own a little bit. 1 minus 5x squared minus 6 minus 14x squared. We have a negative sign, so we're going to want to rewrite it with different signs, the opposite signs here. 1 minus 5x squared. I don't need this bracket anymore. Minus 6 plus 14x squared. Combining the terms, minus 5 plus 14, that gets us to the positive side, so we are going to have positive 9. That is 9x squared. And then minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. Okay. So if you're feeling comfortable, go ahead and try the next ones. If not, we've got a couple more to do here. Okay. 
minus 4 a to the power of 4 plus 9 minus 11 a minus minus 3 plus 5 a plus 6 a to the power of 4 we're subtracting this polynomial so when we re we rewrite this without brackets we are going to flip all of these signs minus 4 a to the power of 4 plus 9 minus 11 a this was minus 3 so now it's plus 3 this was positive, so now it's minus. This was positive, so now it's minus. This is nothing. All right, we are going to combine all of the terms that have the highest power first. So I've got the fourth degree and the fourth degree. So that is minus four and minus six. That's minus 10, a to the power of four. So those are gone. Do the next one. A to, uh, we got 11a and minus 5a. So here we go. Uh, minus 11 minus 5. That's minus 16a. So those are gone. Go ahead and feel free to strike out the ones that you've already done. Uh, if it makes it more uh, clear for you. And then 9 plus 3 is 12. So this ends up being a trinomial with to the fourth degree fourth degree trinomial. We wouldn't know that right at the beginning, but this is useful to us. Let's do the last problem. Minus 2n squared minus 12n to the power of 4 minus 2n to the power of 3 minus 10n squared plus 4n4 4 minus 3n to the power of 3. That's the last piece of paper. Cutting it close with this lesson. That's all right. It's a negative sign, so we're flipping everything on this side. So drop the brackets. Minus 2, n to the power of 2. Minus 12, n to the power of 4. Minus 2, n to the power of 3. This is positive, so it becomes negative. 10, n to the power of 2. This becomes negative. 4, n to the power of 4. This becomes positive. 3, n to the power of 3. Let's add all our highest powers together first. That is this one and this one we're going to do. So we have minus 12 minus 4. That's minus 16 and to the power of 4. Let's do the next ones, which is this one and this one. So that's minus 2 plus 3. That's just 1n. So plus n to the power of 3. 1n or just n is probably what we should be doing. And then minus 10n squared minus 2n squared, that's minus 12n squared. So we have our answer. So two real things, if, if, the, if it's an addition question, we leave them all the same when uh, leaving out the brackets, but when it's a subtraction question, we flip all the signs in the second part. Um, thank you very much for watching everyone, and if you have any questions, please let me know. See you.